everyone. Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. I've just been doing a few little experiments, doing a drizzle swipe wreck on the base with um, little finger pops and then doing a little um, bloom in the middle. Um, I've decided today to use some of the boom gel stain. This is the pearlescent teal, teal as a base, but I found that it was um, quite thin before when I tried to use it. So I um, actually added some of the Taubman's interior doors and trims gloss paint um, just to thicken that up a little bit um, so I'm going to use that as my base um, so and then I'm going to be putting down the this little piggies I've got lily pad mermaid Zeus echovera blue eyes agapanthus and after blow and grenache so I'm just going to put those down. Um, I will save the Zeus and the lily pad for the little flower in the middle. And I'm also just going to lay down a little bit of the Montmartre Point Paint Gold. Um, so without further ado, let's see how this goes. So hopefully we'll be learning all together here. Um, so as I say, I've thickened up the boom gel stain with the Taubman's. And as you can see, that's a lot thicker now. So it won't be as runny as the other one was, which will... Um, help those cells to sort of maintain their shape a lot better um, instead of just kind of dissolving in and running away. So I'll just spread this out and I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay, well that certainly spread quite nicely. I just burst the bubbles then with the um, heat gun. And now I'm just going to lay down the paint. So, um, just sit back and relax and um, I'll be back with you in a moment. Wipe. Whoa, note to self, I just smelt burning then when I was just um, doing the um, burning, bursting the bubbles because I'm on top of plastic here. It actually um, melted the plastic, so hmm, might have to go and get my other um, embossing tool, heat embossing tool, back into my room here. Okay, so now I'm just going to swipe down.
got some nice big jelly bean cells here this time. I'm just going to very carefully burst the bubbles without setting fire to my plastic. And that's a point to remember, always keep a fire extinguisher um, in your art room too, just in case anything does ever catch fire. That was just going to, it was just melting the plastic and it wasn't actually going to catch fire, but always make sure you do have a fire extinguisher handy. Um, okay, so we've got lots of cells coming up there. So now I'm just going to do this little gentle finger pop. Just to create some lovely little flowers there. And I don't mind having some areas that haven't got cells. I actually quite like that. So it gives you a whole different effect when you um, do your little finger pop if there's no cells here. I'm just going to spin this out a little bit before I put my bloom on there and that will help to um, thin this paint out a little bit so the bloom when I put it on it won't spread as easily over the whole thing because I don't want it to go over the whole um, tile. Now I'm going to put my little bloom smack bang in the middle of all that. So I'm just going to use some afterglow. And putting that down first should help when I blow that out. That should put a nice little edge around the, um, the bloom. Hopefully. And then mermaid. I love mermaid. A little bit of lily pad around the edge. Whoops. A little bit, she says. End up putting a heap. And now Zeus. And that's about 10 times as much paint as I really need there. Oh, I forgot my pump mark pouring paint gold. I forgot to put that down. Just put a little bit in the middle there. Rightio. So just a tiny bit of cell activator in the middle of that. Not too much. I put so much paint down there. There's no way that this isn't going to spread over most of the tile. If you want to do just a tiny bloom in the middle, you do need to just put a tiny bit of paint. There's a clue there to myself. Okay, so I'm just going to blow this out with a straw. Got that bit of afterglow showing in there, which is nice. So now I'll just draw in some shape with my meat skewer. Really got to be careful with that um, Montmartre pouring paint gold because it did take over then. I put 
put a little too much. Okay, now give it a bit of a spin. Okay, so there's a lovely little bloom with the drizzle swipe underneath. Can't see where I've done my little finger pops too much though. Disappeared in there somewhere. Got a couple back in. There's some bubbles. Oh, now bring you down for a close up. Here we are coming down for the close-up. You can see that lovely edging from the drizzle swipe wreck or drizzle swipe um, finger pop there in the background. It's just, it's just a lovely background. It makes it look like this flower is just floating on a, a beautiful um, pond of water. Although there's not usually red in water, but you can see the beautiful blues there with the mermaid and blue eyes. And then the beautiful bloom on top. I'm loving, of course, the uh, lily pad, which you know by now is one of my favourites for creating green. And um, the afterglow there. Zeus has disappeared under the Montmartre gold. And I haven't got a lot of cells on this one, so um, usually I do. So that's just something different again. So hopefully you liked that one today, guys. So that was using the um, boom gel stain that I thickened up with the Taubman's. And it actually made quite a decent base. And... Um, help those um, cells to keep their shape there. So um, hopefully it will dry well. Okay, I'll see you back here in Studio 33 in the not too distant future. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye. <laughs>